lawyers today have great resources that again 15 20 years ago we never had we never had truly the ability to take on these giant mega corporations gigantic corporations international corporations with billions and billions of dollars we the trial lawyers now have the resources to take them on we have the medical resources we have the pharmaceutical resources in environmental cases we have the geologic type of experts we can afford them this is the first time that the playing field has been leveled in these cases as a consumer if you think that something has happened to you which may or may be related to your use of a drug may not be related the first thing that you can do is go to the internet type in Viox, type in Avandia you're going to find all kinds of sites you'll probably find the pharmaceutical company site right up at top go look take a look and see what they claim the problems may be from taking this drug you'll see their package insert right on the internet for you to take a look at once you've done that you type in Viox and lawsuit or Fenfen and lawsuit and you're gonna find more lawyers than you ever wanted to know but they're there to help you look for a lawyer that has been involved in this type of litigation it is there are lots and lots of lawyers out there, very, very competent lawyers who do a lot of things. But you can't be all things to all people. Ask the lawyer, what have you done? When did you last litigate a drug product liability case? Have you ever been involved with this particular drug? And if it's the first time on the market, well, are there other drugs similar to this that you may have been involved with? They take a lot of money, they take a lot of training, they take a lot of experience. This is not a simple car accident where you're standing at a stop sign and somebody rear-ends you. The question of liability, the question of an injury is, goes without saying. There's always an argument about whether or not the drug company was negligent or there's an argument about whether or not the injury that you have was caused by your exposure to that drug. So get as much information as you can, no matter where you live, whether you're in Idaho, Montana, New York, or California. There are lawyers who do this type of work that you're looking for. Interview lawyers. Don't just go with that first lawyer and ask questions. If a lawyer doesn't want to answer your questions, I suggest you go on to the next lawyer. Don't fall into that trap. Make sure that the lawyer is experienced. You went, your, your doctor prescribed a drug for you. The doctor said that you had, you know, a backache. Take this drug, Vioxx. It's going to make you feel better. And you are a trusting consumer. You say to the doctor, fine. So you go out and now you go to your pharmacist. Again, you're a trusting consumer. You hand a prescription over, pharmacist fills a prescription. On the side of the bottle, it says Vioxx, take three times a day, morning, noon, and night with dinner, whatever it says. And you follow that perfectly. Three months later, you have a heart attack. You were, other than a backache, you were maybe in your mid-30s, early 40s, why should you have had a heart attack at that age? Did this drug, did this product actually cause my harm? That is really the key question in virtually all of these cases. Do you have a vendetta against Merck? Of course not. You didn't wake up one morning and say, you know, I want to sue Merck, or I want to sue Pfizer, or I want to sue Lilly, whatever it was. No, but now you say, why? Why me? married, I'm, I have a good job, I have a couple of kids, now I have a heart attack and I can't work and I can't take care of my, my kids, I can't take care of my family. Well, you are entitled, if this is a defective product, now it may or may not be a defective product, you are entitled to find that out and if indeed 
you were harmed because of a defective product, a product that was put out there that should not have been put out there or should not have been given to you for whatever reason, or the drug company did not warn about these particular problems, you're entitled to compensation. Nobody else is going to give it to you. You can't call up the government and say, you know, I had a heart attack when I took Vioxx. I can't work now. Would you please send me $100,000 a year for the rest of my life? Unfortunately, you can't do that. Who is the responsible party? It's certainly not going to be the doctor if the doctor wasn't warned about this. If the drug company does not give the doctor all of the information on prescribing, on adverse reactions, on drug, on the different drug uh, regimens with respect to what you should prescribe in combination with another drug. If they don't give the, the doctor all of the, that information and you have one of these serious reactions to a particular drug, well then what happens? The doctor has the same complaint practically against the drug company. So now we have the doctors and the patients and the lawyers in many instances coming together and saying to the drug companies, you didn't provide enough information, you didn't provide all the information, you are responsible. I'm Mark Byrne from New York City, the law firm of Napoli Byrne & Associates, LLP.